sorry, my phone went weird. Hello, <laughs> welcome. This is Dawn from Sign Parties 101 and Sign Party Central. And I am here just to do a quick little tutorial, uh, which I'm doing every Tuesday of the month. So I'm super excited about that. And we are going to just make a quick planked sign. Now, some people are really like overwhelmed when they think about plank signs and starting them and how to make them and all that. And I'm here to show you that it is super simple. And these are all the signs that I do at my parties um, are plank signs. So hello, Vanessa. Nice to see you here. I'm just going to turn my phone. Um, yeah. So for those of you that are new to the group, um, welcome. And uh, like I said, my name is Dawn. I'm a creative entrepreneur and mother of seven. I started my sign party business about four years ago, and um, that first year we did uh, 200 parties. So now what I get to do is teach people like you how to do what I did and build your own um, DIY party business. And like I said, these playing signs are so popular. Um, not only are they fun to make because you get to use a nail gun and everybody seems to like nail guns, um, but they're they're easy, which is nice. They give the party a little bit more of a DIY feel because you actually get to put something together at the party. And they're really good for the male audience um, that maybe you wanna have at your parties. Uh, I talked a lot this morning in my Sign Party Central about places to um, reach out to about hosting a party and some places uh, like businesses have males and sometimes crafts aren't really, you know, kind of catered to them, but this is something that they can do too. So hello, Shauna, um, <laughs> Vanessa, you're funny. Um, Hey, Melanie. Okay. So I'm just going to show you quick how I do my plank signs. Um, I use pine one by fours. Okay. So super simple. You go to the store, you can get these at Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, your local lumber company, which I would suggest doing that um, more than anything because they're going to have usually a better quality and sometimes cheaper prices and they're local. So, but uh, you buy these guys, I get the eight foot length and then cut them down to size. This one, um, oh, I love the little... I love the little emojis. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this one is 14 inches. And so a one by four is actually three and a half inches wide. So I'm going to put these together and there's going to be four of them. So this is going to make a square. So it's going to be 14 by 14. Typically for my parties, I do 17 and a half. Why 17 and a half? Because if you put five of these boards together, you're going to get 17 and a half inches. And so because I wanted to make a square, um, it's going to be 17 and a half by 17 and a half. But due to the space that I have and I want to be on the screen, um, don't ask me why I don't do a screen, a <laughs> split screen, because I am not very technologically, uh, I just can't do it. Or my computer hates me or whatever. Like every time I try to do that, um, something happens and I just can't get to it. So, um, so I'm just going to show you, you guys, this is so simple. Um, so also at my parties, one thing that people like is I tell them they can either do a square sign, uh, with flat edges or, or straight edges. Um, meaning they line their boards up perfectly with each other, right? So that it's all square, or I tell them they can stagger a little bit and maybe go one down, one up, one down, and kind of give the edge of the sign a little staggered look. Uh, it's totally up to them if they have a square because it doesn't matter, um, you know, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, and also they can do it with a rectangle, of course. But the one thing that you have to make sure that you tell them is don't get too crazy with the staggering, especially if you have a stencil or something that's close to the edge of your board. Because if somebody goes crazy with staggering like this, their stencil is not going to fit on here. You're going to run out of space because this lessens the space that their stencil goes on. Okay. So I like things square. Um, every once in a while, maybe I'll do a stagger board or a staggered sign if it has a lot of boards. Um, but for this, I'm just going to do it straight. So 
Again, these are pine one by fours. I get them in an eight foot length and then I just cut them down to size. And what I like to do is tell people at the parties, you wanna put your back or the bad side facing up. Now, the quality of the board that I get, it doesn't matter. Some of them that you get at the store or if you get a, a lesser quality, cheaper board, you're gonna have one side with uh, knots and, um, and like cutouts and some splits and stuff and then one side is okay. Uh, this is pretty much the same on both sides. It's pretty smooth. Um, they already have eased edges. So again, I just buy a little bit higher quality board from my uh, lumber company and um, then just sand the edges after I cut them. So, but, so I just say, figure out how you want your sign to look as far as knots and so forth. Um, another thing you have to tell people is to uh, understand the beauty of the wood is all the knots and the character and all that kind of stuff. So um, if you get somebody that's really particular and they're like, oh, there's a knot right here, I don't want this board, just be like, oh, that's so beautiful. Like that's the natural beauty of the wood and each piece is going to be different because it's real wood. You guys, this isn't stuff you just, you know, plastic stuff you go buy Hobby Lobby or whatever. Like it's real wood. So you're gonna get that character um, with every board. So we wanna just put the side that we wanna use for our stencil down. So the bad side or the back side is facing up. And we're just gonna lay out our boards like so. Um, okay, so I told you I had seven kids. They eat like crazy. I don't know about you guys if you have kids who eat like crazy, especially we homeschool this year, and so they're home all the time. And we put in a Walmart order um, this, well, last night for grocery delivery today. And I was supposed to get here at like 10 o'clock this morning, and it's not here yet. And you guys, you should hear my kids. You would think that like someone is trying to cut off their arm. They are whining all like, what is the food like, like they've never eaten in their life, right? So um, I had to warn them that they better stay downstairs and I better not be able to hear them <laughs> complain about the groceries not being here yet. So I just think that's kind of funny um, in this day and age and the poor DoorDash guy. Um, okay, so these are our boards. I've lined them up straight. Again, feel free to stagger if you want. Um, and then what we're going to do is just attach the backs and this is as simple as getting this is a one by two pine one by two same as the one by four but it's smaller um, you can use furring strips which is another thing that you can get at Home Depot or wherever uh, the only difference is the furring strips are going to be they're a little bit thinner so you need to make sure with your length of your nails that it's not going to go through the front Again, don't ask me how I know that. Uh, that was one thing I learned the hard way. And also, they're going to be not as good of quality, so you're gonna probably have to dig through them a little bit to find ones that aren't super curvy or warped, okay? So um, these are from my local lumber company, so I know the quality, they are pretty straight. Um, you know, they don't have to be perfect because they are going on the back, but you want to just make sure they're not all like super wonky or they have a big bow in them where they won't, you know, push down on your board um, straight. So, so these are one by twos or furring strips. And again, you just get these in eight foot lengths and you could get them in longer if you have a truck and the space for it. Eight foot usually will fit in like a minivan <laughs> or something. Um, or a truck, I guess, if you have them. I just like eight foot lengths because they're easier to work with. But, uh, and then you just cut them to size. So um, I don't even know what this one is. I'll measure it. Obviously, this is the width of the board that I need for the back to go across. So you just want to come in a little bit so they're not sticking out. And that's, that's kind of how you measure um, the back. But again, if you guys know me, I never measure. I usually just mark the wood with my fingernail. Um, I do nothing fancy over here. So if you guys are all about precision, I am not. <laughs> so um, these are about 11 and three quarters. Okay. So again, this is 14 by 14 and this is 11 and three quarters, one by two, and these are one by four. All right. So 
At the parties, same thing. I give them these planked boards. I do not pre-assemble the signs. I know some people do, some people like going to the party and having everything kind of all set for them so the uh, customers can just come in and get right to, to the painting, but I don't like that. I figure like it's a DIY business, do it yourself. And so uh, I want them to have that experience of doing it themselves. And I've gotten plenty of feedback from all my party goers. I've done 600 plus parties that they love doing that themselves. They feel a sense of accomplishment. So that's why I do it at the party. So I literally just bring these planks and then bring the backs and we assemble. So we do all of this at the party. All right, so I bring a little bottle of glue and if you like to do like kind of icebreakers and kind of joke around a little bit, I always tell the people, especially if we're at a restaurant, that this is not ranch. And then that gets them laughing or whatever. But again, ask me how I know, <laughs> is that I had one lady, um, she probably had a few drinks before I got there at a restaurant and she thought this was ranch and found out very quickly that it is wood glue. So this is just regular wood glue. Now, um, you also don't absolutely need the glue. I just like it because it gives it a little bit of added security because we are gonna nail, so you don't need um, a ton. <gasps> hey, Emily! Uh, so you don't need a ton of glue. All right, so you guys, if you've seen my post, I'm going to be on Emily's group tonight. If you guys don't know Emily Banky over at That Mom with a Laser, uh, if you have a laser or think about getting a laser, and you wanna see all the things, go and join her group and I will be live with her tonight at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 9 p.m. Eastern, eight central. And uh, I'm gonna be talking about sign parties. I'm gonna talk about how I got started, um, why I like parties more than customs. And then I'm also just gonna do a little um, plank tutorial over there as well so they um, can see what's going on on that page. So if you guys are a part of that group, um, come see me and if not go join em Emily's group and then come watch tonight so anyways all right so we are gonna take the wood glue and um, I just tell them to make a little squiggle down the back of the sign again I emphasize that you don't need a ton of glue okay we don't want it squirting out all over the place and we don't want to um, we just don't want to use too much because we don't need it because we're going to nail as well. So I just put, put a small bead of glue down the back of your bracket and lay it on your board. Now, I always say it doesn't matter if it's perfect. Um, you don't want to get people overwhelmed. So just lay it on your board so it goes across. You will not believe how many times people ask you almost at every single party which way these go on, this way or this way. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Which way do these go? This way or this way? Okay, if you put it on this way, guess what? Your sign is not staying together. So just tell them, pretend like you're talking to five-year-olds because a lot of times that's how you have to teach a class is that you have to go slow and you have to repeat yourself because a lot of people don't pay attention the first time. I always joke, but it's true that teachers are my worst parties as far as listening because they don't like to listen, um, which is ironic. But, so say it again, put it on your board, a couple inches from the ends, doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna lay it down and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. If you guys have questions, feel free to post. I'll go back and look at the questions at the end. Um, I can't totally see them from here because my phone's far away. Plus I have the light shining in my face and um, I don't wanna waste time and go cl close to my screen right now, so. All right, so the same thing with the bottom. You're gonna put the second one on. Then once you're done with your backs, all you have to do is nail. So this is my little friend here. This is, um, this is Brad. <laughs> this is my Brad nailer, so it's Ryobi Airstrike. 
Um, it's an 18 gauge uh, brad nailer. The nice thing about this is you do not have to have an air compressor. It's battery operated. So um, I have four of these that I bring to my parties and you just reload the nails right on the side. Just open that thing, put the nails in and um, close it up and it's good to go. So all we do is I show them how to use it and then we do um, two nails in each board. I'm just gonna do one for now because for time's sake, um, just two nails in each board on both sides. Okay, so this one's gonna have two, four, six, eight. So they'll have 16 um, nails in this board, but I am just gonna do um, one in each. And you'll want to make sure you either clamp your boards together hold them together or if you're at a party i just tell them to help each other out and one person hold the board while the other person nails um and so forth just because sometimes the the pressure of the nail gun will um spread your boards apart a little bit and we don't want that and so um we just want to hold it together and you can just do like the ends first to kind of hold that together and then go back and do the middle um as well so I'm gonna do that. Um, it's really simple if you've never used this before. Um, if you wanna see it, I'm sure there's probably sales going on. Home Depot sells this. Um, I do have the Amazon link if you'd just like to get it on Amazon. Um, on signparties101.com, under the tab that says Amazon links. A lot of you guys probably don't know that that's even there um, because you have to go under more, I think, and then scroll down to the Amazon links. I have um, a bunch of stuff that I like to use linked there uh, for the Glowforge, but then also um, just at my parties. And this guy is one of them. So um, go and get this if you haven't. It's amazing, even just around the house. Like it's so nice, um, it's so nice to you. So I'm gonna do these nails here. So that's all it was, super simple, right? I'm gonna do the corners. And then I'm gonna go back and do the middle. Okay, so I just did one, just so you guys don't have to sit there and listen to that. Um, but I would go and do two nails in each board to hold it together. And then that's it. Now you have your plank sign. So literally this happens within the first like 10 minutes of my party and people are already so excited because they've created something. You guys, it's the most simple thing. They haven't even stained, they haven't painted yet, nothing. But when they get to this point, they've already like built a sign. And so they're already feeling pumped and excited and proud of themselves. And that's what you want because you want to create the experience. And that's what's going to keep them coming back is not only the end product, but also the experience. How did you make them feel? How personable were you? Did they feel a sense of accomplishment at your party? Um, and that's why I like to assemble planked signs at my party. Yeah, you could just bring a solid board or you could bring a, a round that's already done or something like that. And I do offer those as well. Uh, not that much, but I do have them for those that want them or a porch sign. But these are by far the most requested and the most um, purchased at my parties because people just love they love to put them together. So that was my little tutorial. So hopefully that helped you guys to see it's really not um, hard at all. And then you can take this to your parties and um, do your thing. So now I'm going to try to look. Um, <laughs> I can't reach my phone. <laughs> try to look to see if there's any uh, questions here that I might have missed. There's lots of hellos, which is awesome. I love when you guys say hi. Um... Grocery bills. Oh, yes. I know about that. Um, awesome. Vanessa already has her alarm set for nine. Yes. Yay. Um, Tan says, yeah, and you will love. Yes. Okay. So my members and her members, some of you guys cross over and are in both groups. Uh, and those of you that are have told me for quite a while, you need to meet Emily. And apparently has told Emily that. You need to meet Don, and so the other day, um, well, I guess it's been a few weeks now, we reached out to each other, and uh, I joked that it was love at first message because um, she's a sweetheart, and 
we're just ready to take over the creative world together. <laughs> so, um, awesome. You guys are amazing. Okay. So do you have them stain or paint before assembly? Nope. So we assemble. That's the first thing that we do is we assemble. And then once we're assembled, then we stain our board. Um, part of the reason to do that is because I only have them stain the top and the edges. I do not have them stain the back of the party because one material, two time, and three, I always say when it's hanging on the wall, nobody's going to see the back anyways. So no, if you're doing a port sign, then yes, I would say do the front and the back. Uh, but for something like this, that's going to be hung on the wall. Do you ever take anything off the wall at someone's house and see if the back is finished? No, that's like not a thing. So I just don't do that. And so, uh, so we assemble and then stain or paint it. Do you guys have to sign a waiver before they use a brad nailer? Yes. Um, and actually at every, every party they have, um, they have to agree to the terms and conditions and virtually sign the safety waiver that I have linked on my Google doc when they register for the party. And that I would suggest you, um, just go make a little, uh, appointment with a business attorney and just make sure that your safety waiver covers you in case anything would happen or whatever. But this is pretty, I mean, unless you literally push it down onto your finger um, or something crazy happens, this is relatively safe to use. This is the safety, so that has to be engaged in order for a nail to come out. So like if I just pull the trigger, it's not like nails go shooting out or anything like that. So it's generally pretty safe, um, but yes, they do, they do sign a waiver. Um, <laughs> so Julie, if people at my party are scared to use the nailer, um, I do not force them to, although if it was my family or my friends, I probably <laughs> would. Um, but I always say that it is, um, it's up to them and I can always do it, you know, if they didn't want to or whatever, but most people that do it are like so happy and proud of themselves and they're excited that they were able to or something like that. Sorry, there was, um, I have my phone on do not disturb and there was still a phone call. Sorry. Um, okay. So I just got mine from Home Depot. Um, yes, it is a game changer. I love mine. Um, Julie, that's okay. You can have questions. Uh, what about hanging? Um, is that added on to the signs at the party and what supplies? Yeah, so I have a whole, that is next week's tutorial, I think, is on um, hanging. So yes, we do hanging hardware at the parties. And next Tuesday, I will go over how I do it, what I use, and what all entails with that. So great question, and you'll just have to stay tuned. Um, you have a lot of hair. <laughs> Yes, I do. Um, and I actually just cut like eight inches off of it. Um, I probably just cut like that. It was so long and I do have a ton of hair and everybody told me as you have kids, you like lose your hair or like it thins out. You guys, I have had seven and I've been pregnant 11 times because I've had miscarriages and my hair is still not thin. So, um, I guess I'll just get used to having thick hair, I suppose, but <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, I love my groups. Uh, so anyways, all right. Well, that is the tutorial. Um, stay tuned for tonight if you want to learn a little bit more about my story or um, or just come watch me again and support uh, Emily and I. You can just hop on to that mom with a laser tonight at 7 p.m. Mountain. You guys, I just moved from Minnesota to more of the West Coast. I guess we're not on the coast, but Minnesota, Idaho, and I'm still trying to get used to like the time, <laughs> the time zones. I've always been central. And so it's weird to just do mountain time. So 7 PM mountain time, 8 PM central and 9 PM Eastern. Um, I will be with Emily on that mom with a laser going over some sign party stuff. So yes, thank you, Emily. <laughs> Nine Eastern. Um, okay. So have a great night and, uh, we will be back actually Thursday. You guys I'm coming back on Thursday. I'm going to do a four part series. You'll see something coming up about that four part series on how to get your parties off the ground and running in 2021. So 
That's going to be every Thursday um, of this month and the tutorials will be every Tuesday. So I will see you guys back here on Thursday. Take care guys.